extortion in Medellin, Colombia. This is how it happened. Okay, um, some of y'all know about the story about the extortion. I, uh, I told the story to two other YouTubers, but I'm going to tell you exactly what happened that night when this thing happened. Okay, I'm going to tell you my experience on my channel. Okay, um, what happened was this young lady that I met, we met on social media. And um, I told her that I was coming out to Medellin, Colombia. And um, she was very excited, very excited. We got to know each other on social media, on Facebook. We FaceTime each other. Um, I met her family. You know, I met, you know, her friends and everything. And uh, she was very excited about me coming to uh, Medellin. So we like talked for actually a few months you know, before we met each other. So, um, what happened was, uh, when I finally made it to Medellin, Colombia, she was uh, very excited. I told her I was there. When I was in customs and I was standing in the line of customs, I got my phone out. I let her know, I say, hey, guess what? You know, I'm in Medellin now, I'm in Colombia. Uh, I can't wait to see you. She was very, very, very excited. She was very, extremely excited. So, um, after I went through customs, I was in customs for about almost an hour or so. It takes a long time to go through customs when you go to Medellin sometimes. But when I finally got through customs, I took a taxi back to my, um, to my hotel. And um, I unpacked and everything. And then um, I gave her a call again to let her know that I made it to my hotel. So I gave her the information where my hotel was and the address. And could we see each other? Because um, I was really excited about seeing her. And her name, I'm going um, to leave her name um, as Maria. Um, this young lady, she did reach out to me and then she did say that she was sorry. She was sorry. She apologized. She apologized. She apologized over and over and over and over again. Because actually I blocked her from my phone, but she has got another way of, of contacting me. So she left me a long message, a long text saying how much that she regrets of what she did. And she said um, the reason what happened to her, that she was under the under the influence of um, of another drug that her friend, she said her friend gave her. So, but she was a very apologetic, and she did see the other um, videos of the extortion from other YouTubers. You know, so she asked me, could I please not put any more videos out with her name and her face and everything because she said it got her repercussions for her kids, for her her child. So I said, okay, okay, you're forgiven, but I never trust you again. Okay, so let me tell you exactly what happened. Okay, so um, she didn't come over the first night that I was in Colombia. She didn't, she didn't, she didn't come over on the first night. But she said that she would come on the next day. So the next day I talked to her, she said her and her friend was coming over and it was my birthday. September 11th is my birthday. So you all saw the video of the, um, of us at the patio having dinner and everything. Everything was going good that day. It was just a normal day in Columbia. It was beautiful. Um, 77 degrees. Great day. I was like, wow, I'm going to have some fun today, you know. So she said her and her friends was coming. So, um, so to make a long story short, 
I sent the Uber to pick her and her friend to come over to the hotel, right? So they both came over to the hotel. Some of y'all saw the videos. I do got those videos available of them coming. And everything started off very good. Everything started off good. We had so we had dinner. Um, uh, we had drinks. We was, we was in the hotel patio. And then all of a sudden we changed and we got into a swimming pool. So we all jumped into the swimming pool. We were swimming, having a good time. We was having a good time. Everything was going great. And so after we um, got finished in the swimming pool, we left, we got off the swimming pool and then they decided they wanted to, you know, go and work out at the gym. I showed you guys that, um, that gym video too. So they wanted to work out at the gym and we were still having a good time, you know, just, you know, celebrating my birthday, you know, just, it was just, everything was going perfect. Everything was going perfect. Okay, so here it comes. So her friend decides um, that it was time for her to go, but Maria says she wants to. She, you know, we are, you know, she's supposed to stay with me. You know, that was part of the deal. And she, we had a, um, I had a reservation for her at the hotel because in the morning we was gonna go and do some content. Um, Go around the city, you know, go to the Vivenza and to La Satenta and maybe to the Botanical Gardens. Because I told her I was interested in doing content, you know. So we called her, so I called the Uber for her friend, okay? So the Uber comes, her friend, you know, jumps into the Uber and then she goes. So just me and Maria just left, okay? So. You know, I'm pretty excited and everything. I said, wow, you know, we've waited, you know, for all these months, you know, to see each other and spend time together and, you know, do things together. So, I mean, there was no fighting. There was no disagreement. There was no nothing prior to us going back to the room. And this is when things started to get kind of crazy. So, we go back to my room. And I'm sitting down, getting comfortable. She's getting comfortable. She put her bag on the dresser. Everything's going great. Everything's going great. So she said, could I order um, room service? I said, sure. She wanted to order uh, another brandy. You know, so the um, the waiter came up, you know, to my room, got room service. She had to drink, but I already had beers in the room. So I just said, I just had to drink, you know, you know, Heineken or something like that, right? So here it goes. This is when things start getting interesting. So she gets comfortable. She goes into the bathroom. And then she comes back out. Everything's fine. So she reaches over, she grabs the remote. She wants to watch television. We turn on the TV. So we, you know, start getting comfortable, getting to know her, we're talking and everything. And then she goes into the bathroom again. She comes back out and then she sits on the bed and just out of nowhere, just within seconds, she began to cry. Come on, give me a hug. Come on. <laughs> my problem, my fire, my moon, my season. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my no, please. <laughs> she just started crying and crying and crying and crying. And I was like, what the heck is going on? I was like, what is the hell is going on? on I was like what's wrong I was trying to console like I just couldn't understand I mean she went from completely happy to completely just breaking out just with the tears and crying 
So I try to console her. I try to console her. Like, what's wrong? What's wrong? Why are you crying? What's 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 going on? You know, and she just tell me she's just speaking this language. You know, that I really didn't quite understand because she was crying so much. So then, you know, she kept crying. She kept crying, and then I was telling her she's gonna have to be quiet because I didn't want people in the other rooms thinking that something that was harming somebody or something in the room so so she just kept crying profusely Just kept crying, just kept crying. So I said, okay, I got a problem. And I say, I said, you know what? If you can't stop crying, you're gonna have to leave. And she continued to cry. So I said, you know what? I got a problem. So I left my room, went downstairs to the front lobby. And I said, you know what? I have a problem in my room. I have a guest in my room that does not want to leave. And she's acting psycho. She's just completely crazy. She's crying and everything. So the front desk manager, he called security. And he told me to wait down here in the lobby. He asked me where the girl is. I told her what room, she, you know, that she was in. And um, he said, um, okay, just wait. Security will, will walk with you to your room. So this guy comes around. Real nice looking guy, really clean. I mean, just really sharp, man. This guy was really sharp, nice shoes, really smooth talking guy. He said, what's the problem? I said, I got a girl in my room that's crying. She doesn't want to leave, you know, so. He go back to my room and he opens the door and she's on the floor, balled up with this makeup run. I mean, it was like, man, I can't even describe to you what this girl looked like with all that makeup and stuff running on her face. She looked like something out of psych, I mean, like out of a horror movie or something. So, so he told me to stay back. He told me to stay back for a second, stay out of the room. I said, okay, no problem. So they began to talk. So I walked back into the room and this is what happened. This is what he says to her. Okay, ask her what she called um, Uber. Okay, when I give it to her, she will get Uber, right? Okay. No one they were men. You know, it's my Ladies and gentlemen, you let me Here you go. Take it. No, no. Yeah, it's just small bills. Yeah. Okay.
llamó a la policía, did you call the police? No. Es un pez rojo. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Is that? Is that there? Just let it go. This, I just want her out. I want her to leave me alone. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm not going to do it. Tony, it's over you. It's over you. She's going now, so. It's the nicer. It's the only one. So then we begin to negotiate, we begin to negotiate to find out what is her problem, what's going on. So she finally, when he came in, she finally stopped crying. And then she tells him that I owe her money. You know what I'm saying? So I said, owe her money for what? <laughs> I mean, she haven't, I mean, you know, I don't owe her nothing, you know. So the deal was that she said that I needed to pay her. If I didn't, she was going to call the cops, you know. So on what? I don't know what she was going to call the cops on. Matter of fact, the hotel was telling me that I shouldn't pay anything. So um, what happened was I ended up just giving her the money just to get her out. And as soon as she got the money, she left, you know. So that's exactly what happened that night. But I'm just telling you guys, just be careful, you know. And one thing I did, if you, if you guys noticed, that I made sure that I videotaped everything. I videotaped everything that happened that night just in case something happened because you never know. And, you know, I want you to know that this channel, you know, we don't put people down because we can be in situations that we, we all make mistakes, okay? We all make mistakes. And I just want you to know, if anybody out there that have a story they would like to tell on my channel, please contact me on my Instagram. And I'll bring you here as a guest. You know, this is not this is not a channel you should feel a shame. So don't come up. So nobody come in here shaming nobody or anything like that, making people feel bad and all that type of stuff because, oh, you... Oh, you, 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 you a simp, you this and that. You know, I'm hearing about people getting drugged every day in Medellin, okay? I'm hearing about people getting robbed every day. That doesn't mean that you're a simp. You know what I'm saying? Situations do happen. But the reason why I recorded everything, because I want you to see that if you ever get into a situation like this, the best way to do is try to walk away from the problem. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know. You know, one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to get into a physical confrontation because if that would have happened, then you would look like the bad guy and you can go to jail. Okay, so that's why I walked away. That's why I um, recorded everything that happened that night. So that's exactly what happened on that night. And um, I learned that it's a lesson. I've been in Columbia many, multiple, multiple, multiple times. Never had no problem like this before. Have I had? A few things that happened, sure, you know what I'm saying? I had bumps in the road before, but this one was just a little serious situation. And I just want you to know, this is what you do if you ever find yourself in a situation like this, okay? All right, please don't forget to like, subscribe to this channel. And I have a my next video, I got a guest coming. I'm telling you, this Paisal woman is going to set you straight. She's going to set everybody straight, okay? The things that that you need to know need to know when you come visit Medellin Colombia. Okay? Alright. See you on the next video. Thanks for watching.